When I heard the message that they're going to install electric meters which are wireless in my house, I was excited. And I also found that the gas meter that I have connected to our gas supply is also a very special kind of a gas meter. And these are both electronic wireless meters that transmit their signal electronically through wireless and anything that comes close by can actually read these uh, values. So these electronic meters have a reading and they transmit continuously using Wi-Fi and the person who actually takes a reading is in a van that has an antenna and they just drive by and they intercept the signal they get a certain reading and that is a reading for a particular wireless meter and they just drive away and you get a bill depending on what is your usage for every month. So these wireless communications could be Wi-Fi 433 megahertz, 902-926 megahertz, signals, Zigbee, Z-Wave. So the one that uh, we will focus on is in this range so it's 902-926 megahertz. The question is can we intercept these readings? Yes, we can, and for that we're going to use RTL SDR. So these are like fancy instruments that you can actually buy from New Alec company, uh, and this one is the most expensive one that you can buy, and this has a quite wide range, and this is the one that I'm going to use. It's the cheapest one that you can find. You can also find cheaper ones on uh, online where uh, it uses the same chip as well. So this particular project's RTL AMR actually uses these SDR to actually get values of usage of for let's say electricity or gas or water and plot it. So this particular project they use InfluxDB database to actually get the usage information so you can plot these information and get how much inf resources that you're using and you can act accordingly. Here uh, there is a list of meters also mentioned in this particular project as well that is compatible with RTL SDR uh, machines and uh, this particular list is also can be found in this meters.csv. Luckily for me my electric meter was on that list and the gas meter was also on the list so you look for the model number here and here but unfortunately the meter uses different technology so this does not transmit using the open unencrypted information what it does is it has a mesh network that it communicates with itself as well as all the nearby meters and that way the county can get my electric reading automatically. So for this uh, I was not able to get my electric uh, readings but for the gas meter um, this particular model was on that list. So that list is on here and um, so for this uh, to get my gas uh, natural gas reading um, so we're going to use this particular RTL SDR using a Raspberry Pi and again these requirements are mentioned in this project as well. Install the latest Golang uh, software. Uh, so this language uh, is pretty new and uh, what I would suggest is to get the latest one to be installed on your Raspberry Pi because that takes advantage of um, using less CPU to actually get the same kind of information as well. So go to either version 1.9 or above and install the RTL SDR that is mentioned here and then finally once you have these two steps done um, all the links are here in this particular project you just go and install this particular RTL AMR project using this particular command once you install you can then run RTL AMR so you can filter by a particular ID you can actually get the information in a JSON format by default it's used, it searches for SCM signals so if you don't see try every one of these values here and you can um, also uh, change the server where it will run the RTL TCP and all that so you can you can have bigger control over what you're getting this information for. So what I have done is I wrote a Python script. The Python script is quite simple. All it runs is actually RTL AMR. This particular number here I have uh, blanked it out here but this particular number is your filter ID and uh, you 
you get this information as JSON and it times out every 10 minutes and this is in a while loop so it keeps on going and if it doesn't get any signal it just like gives an error if not it just restarts once it finds a signal that is actually loaded as a JSON format and it gets the message as a consumption that is how much gas is consumed and that is put on an MQTT topic. We love MQTT because MQTT uh, messages can be intercepted in Home Assistant. So all we have to do is have a shell command that actually starts the script, an automation that is every time Home Assistant starts, you start this particular shell command and a sensor. All that does is actually subscribes to the MQTT topic that the Python script keeps sending the information to. So this particular the topic is where you can get your gas reading and that can be plotted. So this is the plot of gas reading of my house for last day. So here you can see that it zeros every day at 12 o'clock at midnight and this is when our washing machine went off and it, it consumed a little bit of hot water. That's why you see this uh, gas uh, consumption rise up during this particular time of the day. And here we actually uh, see that while we take a shower, hot water is consumed and to heat up the water it takes up the gas. And you can see that this particular gas consumption is due to the heating up the water. But there you go. So you can actually get a lot of information from this particular reading. Uh, I have a few scripts that I have written that actually zeros every day, zeros for every month. And you can also get cumulative monthly usage. I'm going to leave the links below to actually use these different scripts uh, in Home Assistant. So go ahead and try to get some useful readings from your meters that have these wireless capabilities. Thank you. Bye.